<laughs> I mean, I don't know if these are what you would call ventriloquist type, but, uh... Hello, hello everyone, howdy. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Brew Hattie, Nate, Noodle, anyone else that may be in here, hello. Hope everyone's having a good night. Uh, we are back with some more RimWorld, dude. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on? We missed last week, so I'm even, I'm even more out of it than usual. I do remember we were working on this meat drying area over here. So that we can we can dry our meats that way they're not constantly rotting um and then we're working on getting someone to do more research because we're pretty far behind on the whole research thing i do remember that as well uh what are we actually researching right now we have a big long list so we're getting togas trying to get that set up right because we have winter and uh we <laughs> we lost a person or two to the cold before so it seems like getting some warm clothes may be a bit of a necessity so we got that going that's good pemmican for more food preservation tree sewing just because it's convenient for wood i mean i guess tree sewing isn't the most important thing we might end up moving that farther down the list later on or something like that because to be honest i mean while it's convenient to just have someone constantly growing and cutting down trees we're not exactly hurting for trees <laughs> like there's there's a lot of wood on the mat that's just nice to keep like a constant supply of it rolling in so we don't have to micromanage quite as much or whatever then we got beekeeping beer brewing etc etc and we'll probably return and, and look at that a little bit more later but i do know togas and pemmican i think are both very important so we're going to leave those ones as they were um what are we in? We're in Jugist? Jugist? I don't actually know how the seasons are pronounced in this game. But didn't we have like some, yeah, some plants that we needed to harvest? Might as well go ahead and start playing. So Noodle's doing that now. Taking care of that a little bit. It's 87 degrees, so it's actually pretty nice outside. But yeah, see, we have, well, in this case, simple meals rotting away. But without refrigeration, stuff, stuff just... It goes no good, man. <laughs> so we need to get this up. I think what we're going to do, because there's a lot of these racks, and it turns out the racks hold a lot more food than I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel the ones that haven't already been built. Well, not cancel, but but disallow them. So that hopefully uh, Hattie or, or whoever else we have set to building will maybe take care of getting the, the rest of the room set up first. And hopefully we... Okay, we <laughs> we unallowed the floor panel. Uh, I don't care if the floor panel gets built. Okay, that one was right. That one was right. This one was wrong. There we go. Then for everything else, do we have ingredients? Meat. There must be a way to do, like, something other than meat in here. Because, like, why else would it have the option of, of choosing your ingredient, you know? So I don't quite understand how that works, but whatever. We'll figure it out. The meat drying rack, I'm pretty sure, comes from one of the mods. So I've never actually messed with it before. Vanilla Faction's Expanded Classical, apparently, is the mod it comes from. Okay. Noodle still getting some stuff. That's good. So Chocobo can keep on cooking. How's our uh, clothing and stuff going? We're pretty good on weapons, actually. We've just been, like, stealing the weapons from everyone else. So we're actually not doing too bad on that. I don't know how our meat's going. Nate's doing a little bit of researching. That's helpful, honestly. Okay, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. Um, that's right. We built our, our prison last time. Excellent. So what else do we really need? We have a small inn. It's a very small inn, but we have a small inn. We have a small eatery where we uh, cook and, and sell food. Apparently, also, we were... Okay. We also have a raid. <laughs> I may have forgot that we were being raided. Uh, well, okay. So... Shit, they're coming from there. I guess maybe if we line up over here, like in the fields. Let's 
try to get everyone over here real quick. Uh, actually, you know what? Just, like, get somewhere quick and start shooting, man, before... Okay, Chocobo. Chocobo needs to move up. Oh, God. They have, like, a lot better cover than we have. Okay, what? who else do we have? Anybody else that has, like, a shotgun? I thought we had another shotgun person. Maybe not, though. Okay, Nate took a hit, but I think he's doing okay. It's okay for now. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. Smelly up there. Oh, Hattie took a hit, too. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You two, get behind cover, at least. Maybe you can get a little bit of a better shot. Actually, everyone can get can get behind cover here. Hopefully. Oh, good. They're fleeing. They're fleeing. That's good. Keep keep running away. God, we took a lot of hits. Hey, and we got we got a we got a straggler or a, a wiggler over here. I thought you were fleeing. Did we get attacked by two groups or something? Uh, okay. Looks like everyone's down. Good. Let's un <laughs> undraft our people. Go get some medical help and stuff. But who's doing okay? Chocobo, you're doing good. Capture Greg. Is Greg actually any decent? I mean, we're gonna capture him either way, but. Do we want to like? Do we want to add him to our, to our group? Or you're fleeing, right? I hope you're fleeing because I I would rather my people just get medical assistance. On honestly, all right, Tom. I appreciate you taking care of Leonard, but I <laughs> honestly think it's a little more important that our people get some help. Has Nate been taken care of? Uh, kind of noodle. What are you doing? You're resting? Maybe prioritize taking care of Nate first. He took care of one of his injuries, but the other one he's still bleeding out from, so... <laughs> maybe maybe don't let him do that, man. Alright, where's everyone else at? Okay, you just got done taking care of Greg. That's good. Blood loss severe. He must have been close to, to dying, but no serious injuries outside of that. He's psychically, psychically dull. He's a psychopath. <laughs> He's unhygienic. He's asexual and a teetotaler. That's a weird mix of stuff, man. Psychopath is actually kind of nice. It's fun. Uh, maybe we'll do it in the future. It's fun doing a run with all psychopaths because they don't mind, like, harvesting body parts from people and stuff like that. Whereas in... Uh, like normally, you know, your your people don't like it. Like even if they're not the one to do the the surgery, if you will, they still don't really like it being done in the colony. But psychopaths, they don't give a fuck. They don't care one bit. It's fine with them. So one of these days we might do a run with all psychopaths. Let's get a hall urgent on the uh, medicine there. The medicine's nice. Couple hunting rifles, also nice. So that actually went better than I expected, which. Honestly, that's how things have been going a lot lately. Like, uh, okay, Mr. Noodle, I know you're a doctor, so take care of L. L is our, our, our main doctor, and so I don't think anyone's going to take care of her. How's Tom doing? Oh, Tom also needs a little bit of help. So, L, why don't you go ahead and priori prioritize tending to, to Tom, huh? Think about finally taking all the gifts upstairs to put in the tote. Awesome. God, you're needy. I mean, do you want your colonists to die? You're supposed to be the mayor here, man. You gotta take care of them. Our food situation isn't doing too bad, though. We got 38 of them sitting there. That's pretty decent. And I think we should have... Yeah, we still have a little bit of meat over here. It hasn't spoiled yet. We're slowly getting it on these, on these racks. It's getting there. Have they became roulites yet? No, sadly. I don't know when or if they're ever gonna become roulites. Uh <laughs> because we don't we don't prosthesize, right? So like we can we can micromanage and try to get it there, but it would have to be really micromanagey to try and get them there. Um Since we do have a whatchamacallit though, a prison. Um we are going to the prisoners that we get. We're going to try and break them, convert them to our relig religion before we pull them into the uh, into the colony. We're going to try to. It depends on how hard they are to get down, I guess. Because if we go to social, change per day due to mood, plus 1.7%. 
global certainly loss factor 50%. Uh, I mean, we'll just, we'll check back on it every once in a while and see if it goes down. Um, some people, it's basically impossible to change their, their religion, sadly. Most people you can't, but like, how dare, then the god says banish them. <laughs> we would lose everybody except for Noodle and Chocobo. Everyone else would be gone. Because <laughs> you two are the only two left that are part of the religion, man. <laughs> but we're going to try and make more. We're going to try and make more, though. We would lose L, Tom, Nate, and Hattie if we just banished everyone. And I don't think Chocobo and Mr. Noodle can take care of this whole colony by themselves, man. Certainty, 89 to 85. So, I mean, it's going down. We just got to keep an eye on it and make sure it keeps going down. As long as we can get the majority of our people back to... Um, back to being roulites or whatever the hell we called it then we should be able to uh should be able to get them the the religion going strong that way you know but anyways okay let's see what else do we got going on man let's check out uh well you most of y'all are just kind of sleeping what's tom doing who's t what's tom's job i don't really remember to be honest with you Tom is a animal handler and a hunter. Okay. Also looks like he does a little bit of building every now and then. Does some fishing, plant cutting. He's just kind of an all-rounder, but it looks like he's mostly here to take care of the animals. Fine with that. Tom's relaxing socially by himself. That's <laughs> that's how you relax socially, man. You just, <laughs> just sit in a dark room by yourself. I like it. Tom's a man after my own heart, dude. He's taking care of Leonard, though. It's very sweet. It's obviously not a very good constructor, but if we can get that building finished, then uh, it should, fingers crossed, help the meat dry much quicker. Also, Chocobo, what are you doing? You're cooking food. I mean, yeah. Wait. Cancel. Don't deconstruct that. <laughs> we don't want to deconstruct it. We just don't want to build anymore. Anyways, um, I get why, like, cooking happens first. But I, some part of me says, like, maybe you should butcher food first and then do the rest. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and butcher now because I know that meat's going to go bad soon. And... We kind of need to, uh, like, get it on the drying rack or whatever before it all goes bad. Or just take it and cook it. I mean, that's fine, too. Oh, no, he's storing it in the in the basket or whatever. Okay. That works. Our nice little colony. Things are actually going decent. They've been going decent for a while. We have a lot of food, mostly plant stuff. Noodle's been doing a good job with that. With that said, though... Okay, no, that's all like 59%. Okay. There's a couple things that probably need harvested, but it's not it's not actually all that bad. Noodle, you're doing a good job. Smoke leaf's coming along again. Celery's a little behind. Do we have something else? Yeah, peas. We got peas. They're also coming along. Our peanuts. Brussels sprouts. Dude, we grow everything up in here. Nate, what do you want in your house, man? <laughs> like, what kind of things would you be interested in having in your house? You have the most land in, in the colony, but we don't really have much in your house. If there's anything specific you can think of that you'd be interested in having, man, do, do tell. I mean, I guess something that we could start building. We're not going to do anything until the meat drying stuff is finished, but I guess something that we could start doing, actually is uh like getting the the little like tape <clears throat> excuse me the tailoring station um getting maybe just a crafting area in general set up i kind of like the idea of having individual ones right like a uh a a tailor shop uh, uh i don't know gun shop a whatever but a kettle slash pot and stove well you do have a stove boy mate what up, Papa Jack? 
we do have a stove, but is that not home zoned? <laughs> like that one little piece? Oh God, there's something in my eye I can't see. <laughs> of course, it'd be right on the freaking edge of the home zone. Honestly, all this stuff like in the middle of the colony, we might as well just home zone it all. Because I don't want like fires and things like that to happen in the middle of our base and then us just not put them out because we're idiots. You don't want to work tomorrow? I feel it. Me neither, honestly. <laughs> Hit the lottery so we don't have to work, man. That's... <laughs> oh, God. I feel it, though, dude. If it weren't for work, I would just stream all day, every day. Play video games. Maybe make video games? Bruh, that'd be sick. Any specific reason, though, why you don't want to work tomorrow? Anything going on at your workplace? Oh, you guys just had your inventory. Came up short a little over 2 million. What's the volume of your store, do you know? And market's coming in? Well, <laughs> from the sound of it, not good. <laughs> I mean, 2 million's a lot to lose, period. But, uh, like, if you do, you know, 200 million in sales or whatever, then it it makes it a little bit better, but that's still, you have no idea. Fair, fair. I mean, again, regardless, two million's a lot. Hey, in your defense, you're just the new guy, right? Like, <laughs> there's no way it can be your fault for two million dollars worth of shit coming up missing, because you just got there. Maybe, maybe half a mil at most. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I need to find a better thing for pop-ups the that's supposed to be right here because like it does pop up the the here I'll, re I'll refresh it in OBS and now it should start yeah see like these little pop-ups here those are supposed to loop constantly and they just don't because Streamlabs is broken dude <laughs> like, so like it still shows the uh, the um, da -da -da, the little dude that I have. <laughs> God, I can't fucking think, man. It still shows them, but like that's it. The all the gifts for reminding people to follow, sub, all that BS. Like just don't pop up half the time. It's annoying. So, anyways, it's fine though. All right, uh, I think Hattie's our main builder. So what are you doing? You're repairing. I mean, that's fine and dandy, but can we maybe get this room finished, actually? Need wood. Don't we have a high-priority plant cutter? Mr. Noodle was a high-priority pl plant cutter. And Hattie. But Hattie constructs before grows. Do I just want everyone on a level 2 plant cut? I think I kind of do, honestly. Like... I mean, Nate, no, because that would take away from Nate's researching time. What about Tom, though? Tom, that would take away from you fishing. That's about it. <laughs> uh, Growing, too, but this just means you'll do plant cutting before growing, so that's fine. L, I mean, you suck at it, but honestly, like, I think you're fine. And then Chocobo... No, your main priority... Well, I mean, I guess we could just change your main priorities to, like, that. Cook, hunt. Grow and then plant. Eh, I mean, I think we'll leave it, but I, we still should have had those ones up. How long has this been going in game time? I don't know exactly. Does it show that, like, on the save screen? No. Um, well... 8th of August, 5502. I think you start in the year of 5500, right? So about two years of game time, a little bit over two years of game time. Not like that long, but we're also playing like we started with hardcore rules, essentially. Like everyone had to have their own house. They were, they had uh, times where they were, were restricted to their own homes. They could only like get food from their own homes, etc. Like we had some pretty hardcore rules in the beginning. But things were just not going well. <laughs> so we ended up we ended up loosening up the rules a little bit. Everyone still has their own homes and stuff, but it's a more uh, more reasonable policy on the whole 
like work schedules and stuff and people aren't forced to go into their homes and, and things like that anymore because it was just like it was impossible but i'm still trying to do like more more buildings for things instead of just having you know like one big centralized colony i definitely i ain't doing any like kill boxes or any of that stuff we're doing like more open design and uh if we all die we all die i mean it's probably gonna happen to be honest but you know <laughs> that's rim world for you just part of life man we gotta get that vote in on scooby-doo who is starving chocobo is starving why you have food eat your food damn it <laughs> what are you doing dude Chocobo's cooking himself some food before food for the colony. That's fine. Hey, there we go. We finally got that done. Okay, so who was our main hauler? I thought we had someone set to like a high priority haul. We do. It's L. Oh, maybe that's why we had her on a level three plant cut. Well, I mean, you know what? If there's plants that say that are flagged to be cut, I do actually think that's a little bit more important um oh shit i didn't even see the rate the heist man i would have joined you room <laughs> uh do you have the dlc i do have all the dlc yes yes i do we're sing mode it's coming back i haven't deleted it i just have it paused for a bit <laughs> that's all it's not going away forever i promise i just needed a break <laughs> but it will come back it will come back no worries how dare <laughs> we were wondering how long it would take you to notice because i forget who it was exactly it was noodle or someone wait what what is oh that's the torch um i was like why how is a wooden wall missing wood the, the wall's already built anyways uh <laughs> we have we noodle or someone noticed a little while ago and uh was mentioning that you were going to be <laughs> distraught, essentially, whenever you finally noticed. <laughs> so we were wondering how long it would be, man. <laughs> uh, you were saving your points. It's, it's got to come back. You can keep saving your points if you want. Um, but it is going to come back. It's just... I think y'all know I don't really enjoy the sing mode. And... <laughs> hey, Hattie's pregnant. Noodle must be, like, super fucking fertile or something, dude. Knocked up two people. My question is, is Noodle going to kill their husband yet again? Because she killed her first husband. Or no, first wife. Sorry. Um, got it backwards there. Mr. Noodle's a mister. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I wonder how long until they kill their wife again. Guest has nothing to eat? Well, maybe you shouldn't be a poor little bitch, dude. No, we're actually doing okay on food for now. So just for now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and manage the shopping zone. Um, I guess I can't do it from there. It would make sense to do from there, but you can't. Expand allowed area. Shops. For now, go ahead and shop over here, too. There you go. Find, your, find yourself something to eat. Nothing free, though. You're paying for your own damn food. I say as food starts rotting away. <laughs> Look, you can have that rotten shit if you want. <laughs> Holy shit, we just lost like 19. They bought 150 tomatoes? I mean, okay, we, we actually have a lot. It's just going to rot away, honestly, so that's fine. You can buy some for a little bit. Am I going to be a Black Widow? You think it's three before you become one? Is that like the rule or something like that? I didn't know they had rules for that sort of thing, man. Peanuts are coming along. Uh, what I do think I'll do, because our meals are more valuable to us than the raw ingredients at the moment at least. So instead, I think what I'll do is not let them buy these completed meals. Because these are like our... our that's our stockpile of meals for the colony. This is where the public meals are meant to go. But we'll let them buy, like, raw ingredients if they want to. So things that are safe to eat raw, like, uh, like, um, 
tomatoes, for instance, or whatever, then, like, yeah, that's fine. Noodles should be doing some harvesting. They are. Excellent. I mean, we have so much, like, raw ingredients, dude. Honestly, we're over-farming as part of the problem, but I like each house having their own little plot of, plot of land, you know? Nate wants to grow his land again. Uh, that might be a problem, Nate. <laughs> Spand a loud area. Stay home, Nate Alistair. Here you go. I guess this is now your animal pen. Congratulations. You, <laughs> you now have your own animal pen to go with your farm. I still don't know what the hell to do with your house. Like, you have so much land. But I don't even know what to do with your house, man. I know you mentioned, like, wanting a stove and pot. You have a stove. Um, but, like, pot? I don't, mm, I don't think we have, like, pots production. Production, production. Butcher's table. We should get a real butcher's table. I think we've been going long enough. Uh, maybe not out of steel, though. Wood. Let's get a wood butcher table. How's this going? Jerry will be ready in 11 days. I wish we could, like, have people do certain things at a lower... At a, or eat certain foods at a lower priority. Because I'd rather them eat the, like, regular food first and then save jerky as, like, a... If you must sort of thing. Which maybe they do do already. It's a possibility that that is already how they do things. Donna Mana, excellent choice. Dude, I was wondering when somebody was going to put some votes on that one. I, uh, I love those games. Or the, the one that I played, at least. <laughs> Which, what was the first one? I don't remember. But anyways, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so it should be accelerated now, too, because... Yeah, now it's down to 6.5 days. Because it's, like, hot, dry air or whatever, so... It speeds it up. Excellent. Can we set priority on it? No, we can't do that either. Lame. Royal Tribute Collector? Yeah, we don't have any slaves or anything to give you. How is our prisoner doing, though? We haven't checked on Greg in a while. How you doing, Greg? Greg is malnourished. Greg, you have a fine meal right there. Do you not eat meat? Because, like, you're never going to get... I don't think they're going to bring you other food unless you eat the food you have first. An old universe of strife. Shiva whipped up great fire. Oh my god, what just happened? Chunks of a spacecraft have impacted nearby. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> they got a lot of deities. Ranching is central to their... Oh my god, I'm so glad we're converting you. Ranching's fine, but they don't eat plants at all. Like, and this has tomatoes in it. That's probably why they won't eat it. Well, you'll get fed it whenever you fucking... <laughs> whenever you pass out from malnutrition, dude. Where did this spacecraft fall at? There it is. Is it that one? I'm thinking it's that one. Hey, we got visitors. Oh, that's the royal tribute collector. The people we're not giving anything to. So that's fine. I hear building. Where is building going on? Oh, dude, are we finally getting our billiards table? You guys can play pool now. <laughs> He's big, though. He's a 16-incher. <laughs> crisis of belief. Greg had a crisis of belief. That's actually really good. Um, yeah, his certainty went from 52% down to 2.1. Oh, boy, guys. We're going to have ourselves another roulette in no time. Wait, not enough guest beds? Really? Holy shit, dude. Well, I don't really know what to tell you guys. I mean, I guess you're going to have to sleep on the ground. I'm sorry, but like, I didn't expect so many of you to come at one time. Yeah, we have these just random marble tables out here. Can we do any sort of public execution? No. Jubilee of the Rubilee. Expected quality is only 55%, though. I mean, terrible is only 7.8%. 7, 7. We're going to go ahead and do the ritual. We haven't done a ritual in a little while. We need to, we need to, you know, 
spread our religion through the joys of the Rubelie, I guess. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll get some really good benefits from it. Worst case scenario, we get like some bad moodlets for, for a day or something like that. It's not... Unforgettable! What? <laughs> I, I, okay. That was... <laughs> <laughs> there was like no chance of that happening, dude. Got an unforgettable jubilee, causing a wanderer to join. We'll accept them. Jump to location. Congratulations. Uh, we had a party, and the party was so good that a random person decided to join us. And they are a part of our religion by default. So, hell fucking yeah. Congratulations. You are now... I think, Rue, you were the next one. Yes. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I do appreciate that. Rue Man. Okay. Rue Man, the inventor. You can do everything. That's excellent. You're really good at intellectual. Okay. God is among you. <laughs> um, the male ritualist aged 41 in 18 days. Good crafting skill, good intellectual skill, decent at construction. I mean, honestly, I think the number one thing is we just want you to focus on the managing and research so we can free up the other people a little bit. Right, let's go ahead and hit play. Have that stuff go. Uh, doctor, just a token doctor. Oh, plus, please, basic stuff. Let's go. Especially given those stats, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, uh, we're gonna turn off all this other stuff for now. We'll come back and do that. You can be a genetics researcher someday. That'll be fantastic. And then managing. So that's like, though, that's your thing. So who else do we have on a two for research? It's going on a three now, congrats. And managing will go down to a two for everyone. I actually, I guess this should be a priority one for you. So you manage first and then do the research. Um, so we don't have like writing and stuff set up yet, but we can have you do crafting after that. And then we'll have you do construction as the lowest priority. Uh, we will have you do plant cutting. If things need cut, I just, I just want everyone to cut stuff when it needs cut, you know? Just help get that shit out of the way. And then the rest of it can just be token shit. So if I tell you, so I can still tell you to do something, I mean. Uh, except for fishing. Fishing's fun. Uh, I mean, we don't have this stuff set up, but I guess we'll put it on like a level, a level three priority or whatever. You could end up being a school teacher, maybe. I don't know, man. There's, there's a lot of options here. Reg is having a medical emergency. I'm guessing because you're starving. So, L. Can we not? Why can't we take care of Mr. Noodle? What? Why can we just strip? Oh wait, has he been fed? Oh yeah, okay. He's been he's been fed. Okay, so his malnutrition's just Yeah. <laughs> it's going down now. He's probably not going to be too happy about being force-fed meat, or, or not meat, but uh, whatever you want to call it. But oh well, you'll get over it whenever you convert religions, which is close, 2.7%. <laughs> Just convert all the children to Rue worshippers, yes. And for now, you're living in the prison. <laughs> because we got to get you your own house, man. Where do we want you to live? It would make sense for you to live down here, since you kind of work down here somewhere. But Nate kind of has a monopoly on this whole area here, so. <laughs> Ancient macro engine? Deconstruct that. I must have missed it. Um, Need warm clothes. Yeah, we're working on that tech, which should be getting close. Right? Yeah, it's about halfway since we started the stream, so it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, Where do we want Rue to live? Do we like, maybe we do an offshoot, like a street over here. And then you can have like the seaside home over here or something. It's not a terrible idea. I wish our road was straight through town because it would make it so much easier. <laughs> right now with every, with it being diagonal, it's really hard to lay out the houses and stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and get 
some flooring of some sort. War merchant. We might actually have some stuff to sell you. I think we just have, like, pack dirt. Isn't that a option? Maybe? Yes, pack dirt. Slightly enhanced movement speed. Doesn't cost anything. That's good. Uh, we'll do a... Guess kind of like this. It's not going to be a perfect road off to the side there, but it's something. Then your house can be right over here-ish. Yes, yes, yes. Lakeside view. Very nice. All the best for, for our, our God, our Lord and Savior. <laughs> so we're going to stick with the naming th scheme in case we ever do decide to go back to using the, the other thing. But, Rue Man. Okay. Close. Expand. Rue Man. Put a little bit of a space between it. And then I think we were starting with like an 11 by 11 space or something like that. Tom has a starting area. How big is Tom's area? A oh, Hattie's areas. Also, 17 by 11. We tried to... We tried to jip you, man. 17 by 11. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. Because if we go that way, then we're gonna run into, like, unbuildable terrain and stuff like that. Um, I really wish there was a way that we could see the zone after we place it okay so it's one tile over and two tiles down from that heel root right there structure regular wooden walls wood so it's one tile over two tiles down okay so starting here Damn it, game. 16. Can we do blueprints? We can. Create. Blueprint. Here. Hey, we got a conversion! That means our prisoner is now... Spaces are not allowed. Well, that's dumb. That means our prisoner is now one of us, dude. Okay, so we want... One tile over, two tiles down. Right about there. Excellent. So you are now a ritualist. Where where are you, Greg? Don't you feel better already, Greg? Being a part of the Call to Rue, you can eat regular food now, man. Like the one that's on the floor right there. <laughs> you can go and eat it, you know? <laughs> like, Is there some reason you're just hanging out in the bathroom all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Greg. I think Greg might have a thing for bathrooms, dude. I don't know. Uh, well, anyways. <laughs> let's go ahead and put you on the recruit. Now that you're a Rutualite, we want you as part of the colony, man. Let's go. Excellent, excellent. Things are looking up for the colony. As long as we can keep some food going, we should be good. Oh, which actually reminds me, we need to get your growing zone set up, dude. Um, What kind of food do you like, <laughs> Brew? Are you a... What do we do? Two sets of two by... Two by eight. Two by eight. Two by, uh, I guess it's two by eight and two by seven. You're not a picky person? I mean, there's a lot of different options. I wish there was a way to see like what we have and haven't started growing yet. Um, I mean, tea grass. I don't think we have anyone doing tea. We can't actually use tea yet, but I don't think we have anyone growing tea. We'll go ahead and get some of that. We probably don't need it there, though. What is this? Medium-sized mushroom. Can they grow outside? Light requirement 0%. No. Okay. Blueberries and beets. Do we have anyone growing beets? I don't think so. Guess we'll do beets. I mean, it's not the most uh, 
glamorous of plants, maybe, but it's something. And then we'll go ahead and do some tea and the other one there. And then once that grows, or, or yeah, once that fills up, builds, there you go, we'll, uh, we'll move Rue into their new home. At least when your colonists will lack warm clothes from the cold season homes. Yeah, I know. Look, we're working on it. We have to learn how to make warm clothes before we can make warm clothes, dude. All right, so we're going to get that built. And then once we get that built, we'll focus on some of the... Uh, on maybe some of the, the crafting buildings or whatever. beginning starting when you go on your break look at the coffee maker i sent you is it a fancy coffee maker i do like fancy coffee makers uh i was gonna say we should follow rule around for a bit since they're the newest member of the colony but uh <laughs> yeah rue's gonna be a pretty boring person to watch not to be mean but like <laughs> critical alert medical emergency is it greg again why malnutrition extreme why aren't you eating greg is no one bringing you food? Oh, okay, hold on. Go to the work manager. Wardening. Mr. Noodle has that set to a level two. So that should be the first thing Mr. Noodle does. Is take care of you. Obviously they're not though. We're going to set more people to a high level of that I guess. So just maybe somebody does it. Hopefully. And then hauling. Who's our hauler again? I think it's L. We're going to go ahead and turn your plant cup back down to a three, I think. So we, we really do want you to to get some hauling done, dude. Yeah. Calling me boring? <laughs> it's not that you're boring. You're just a, a boring person to watch, that's all. Mr. Noodle, I know you're taking a nap, but uh, come speak to these war merchants real quick. The mayor has a lot of responsibilities. Uh, we could buy cheetahs. We could sell some lion cubs. Tony the tiger. No, we don't want to do any of that. Components. Herbal medicine. We have a bunch. We're good on that. A mechanoid egg? I don't know what that's... I don't even know what that is. Soft enough to crush between once thus crushed it can be swallowed normally and the active mechanites inside have a re a reinvigorating effect on the consumer. It can be slightly addictive, though. Uh, I guess we'll keep it around. Let's sell some of, like, just these shitty weapons that we have. So we've picked up a lot of shitty weapons from all the raids that we've been getting. It's poor, poor. Revolver was decent, but meh. Another revolver, revolver. I'm sure the revolvers are actually decent, but... Derringer. Hunting rifle. Good Derringer. Heavy revolver. So many freaking weapons that we're just not doing anything with. Charge pistol? Should we give our god the 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 charge pistol? The weapon we don't really understand, but we're gonna get rid of the shitty stuff clothing wise. Luxuriant hybrid wool hood. Uh it's poor quality. Keep our gold. You guys won't buy that. Was there anything here that we wanted to buy? No. No, there's not. Okay. So you'll give us $640. That's fine. We'll gladly take it. Thank you for the dollars. You doing okay now, Craig? You got some food. I mean... And then you go straight back to the bathroom. Is it bugged in some way? Like... Colonist slaves guests. No. We just want this to be for... Prisoners. But I don't see prisoner as an option here. I think he's being forced to, like, live in the bathroom for some reason. Like, <laughs> I, I think something's broke here, and he's being forced to live here for some reason. A pair of African wild dogs, a critically endangered species, says Rome Den. Aw. Well, we can't really do anything for you, but... I'm 
a little concerned about what's going on here. This is, this is held open. Is there like a different kind of door that we need or something? Maybe if we put a bathroom stall door on there. Single door, saloon door? Swings open instantaneously, no. Outdoor lamps. Door mats. Stall door. Only blocks line of sight to people using, does not create new rooms or prevent heat loss. So maybe, maybe that's what we technically need. I mean, honestly, we can just deconstruct the door entirely and just have it be part of the room. They won't like using the bathroom as much, but I, they're also prisoners, so they don't really need to like the bathroom that much, you know? Like, <laughs> and hopefully that'll let Greg actually go and hang out in his room instead of just chilling in the bathroom all the time. Are you going to wander out now? Yes, he is. Wow, what is up with that, dude? Okay, well, if it's going to be like that, then I guess until we get the better doors from like the because we are researching that somewhere I think something to do with like prison doors and shit smithing temperature control I don't remember where it would be at though road building no food and condiments beekeeping carvings basic furniture and i'm pretty sure i remember the last time we were in here we saw something about being able to make like what are what are prison walls made out of those like steel just like what if we just search for prison nope that didn't work decals no uh cell oh is it under smithing Smithies for crafting, metal weapons, cell walls, chain link fence, metal weapons, metal weapons, meat hook, gas smithy, cannons, okay, electric smithy. Okay, well, it lets us get s at least cell walls, which I mean, that's something. <laughs> cell door? Am I just not seeing it here? Cell wall. Oh, right there. Cell door. Oh, shit. I just removed it from the list. Damn it, game. Uh, no. Let's move this up a little bit. I mean, I, I know we're going to have to move some of this stuff around. Oh, we're about to learn to make togas. Thanks in no small part to our amazing freaking god and all of the wonderful research they're doing. We're finally learning how to make togas, dude, so we don't freeze to death outside. You got a mad guinea pig? Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I hope our colonists can take care of a guinea pig, dude. Ready to harvest. What's Noodle doing? Cleaning dirt and attempting to recruit Greg. Uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty important. Now you're harvesting food. Okay. Good, good, good. We might have to get a second person harvesting food at some point. Oh, uh, which actually, that mad guinea pig reminded me. Do we have everyone set to fight? Except for Rue. Fight. Which actually, Rue, do you have a weapon? A knife. Yeah, no. Uh, your melee skill is zero. <laughs> your shooting skill is not great, to be fair, but it's better than that. Let's get you with that pump shotgun, I think. Feels a, a good pump shotgun. That feels like a good weapon for a god, right? <laughs> uh. Harvesting more peppers. Good, good. It's with your Kentucky blood. There you go, man. I like it. I like it. 
All right, since uh, we can make togas now, we do need to put that up here. We need somebody crafting in general, which, I mean, Rue's our best crafter, but... Wait, we have parkas. I guess we didn't really need togas if we got parkas. Semi-circular open bottom garment designed to cover the entire body and shoulders. Similar to tribal clothing, toga is generally made with a more delicate touch. Okay, so that's like if we want to go with a Roman thing. So we might uh, we might have wasted our time on togas, actually. But that's fine. Um, what's our next our next research? It's going quick, whatever it is. Pemmican? Okay, pemmican's really important. I think after pemmican, though, we may take a break from research and have Rue do some uh, crafting for us so we can get some, some other things set up. before winter rolls around because it would be really nice to get some warm clothes and things done oh our uh thing's done here so we just want to copy paste we want to make kibble i guess a frigate landed wait what <laughs> Okay, um, well, everyone might just die now. That's fine. <laughs> but do until... Let's try and keep... If we survive, like, a hundred kibble around for, for the animals. Um, ship landed frigate. Strategic war management Mekai Foxtrot. Foxtrot sent a new ship to land on the planet. Small ship often used for ground recon operation has minimal defenses. When destroyed, mechanoid presence on the surface will be lowered. If it's left operational, it will conti contribute to the size of mechanoid attack parties. Uh, so we might have to send out a uh, quote-unquote hunting party to deal with this. This is us here, right? How long would it take us to go from there to here? Half a day. That's not that bad. Oh, God. Who would we even want to send, though? We just send everyone except for like the mayor and the god. Just send everyone else. Maybe maybe Chocobo too. So that would be Hattie, Nate, Tom, and L. Hattie, L, Nate, Tom. Uh we'll take the horse. So that's the pack animal. And I guess that's it. Some people's diets don't allow most of the food in your caravan. Well, that's their fucking problem, isn't it? Maybe they shouldn't be so restrictive with what they can eat. Uh, hold on. Okay, items. It should have auto-flagged some stuff for us to take. Yeah, 12 simple meals, 20 peas, 8 medicine. Look. If you can't eat simple meals, that's really not my problem, dude. <laughs> Just go. Confirm. I don't care. Alright, so we're sending a we're sending a hunting party to take care of this ship. Hopefully they don't all die. <laughs> Trying to take care of us. I guess we'll I guess we'll see, dude. Thankfully, none of them are part of our religion, I don't think. So if they do die, then I mean, you know, it's it's fine, whatever. Oh wait, Hattie's pregnant. How bad is that affecting you? You move a little bit more slowly, but that's it. It's That's fine. <laughs> you look. We already made the caravan. We're not deleting it and starting again. <laughs> oh, this is going to go poorly. All right, where's the uh, world map button at? It's one of these. Here it is. Okay, they're making their way there quick. It's not going to take very long. What is this? Oh, monster encounter. That must be for a... Uh, for a mission of some some sort. It's all right, Chocobo, Mr. Noodle, Roo Man, they can they can take care of things around here. Let's just hope they don't get that we don't get like raided or something in the meantime. That wouldn't be good. Noodle's house is coming along. 
or not noodles, Ruse. Ruse house is coming along. Okay, they should be arriving any moment now. Yes. Generating map for encounter. It's actually time to take a break too, guys. So when we come back from our from our few minute break here, we're gonna we're gonna try and take down this ship and hopefully we don't lose L, Nate, Tom, and Hattie. Find out when we come back. <laughs> BRB guys. A little creepy looking though, in my opinion. Hey, got a rusty key, very cool. Damn it, wrong there. <laughs> it's all right, Rue. I'll forgive you this time. I mean, I screw up the English language constantly when I'm speaking it, so I think you're allowed to uh, screw up spelling every once in a while. You were a teenager 12 years ago. That means you were 31. Uh, no, so I'm 29. Yeah, 29. But I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16. Went to college when I was 17. Um... Almost 18. It was like uh, four or five months before I turned 60, or sorry, before I turned 18 that I went to college. So, yeah. And it was roughly uh, around 17 because I was out of high school, I'm fairly certain. But I definitely wasn't in college yet whenever I played this game through the first time. So, I'm estimating I was about 17, 12 years ago, give or take. At least you can remember, and he got one hell of a college experience. <laughs> so there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy? Sorry, you can't see. Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths and if i remember i think we might get graded at the end of a level putting a question mark on that i can't remember for sure but i think that's right um also this is new wait this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> i know my memory's bad but i don't remember all this being over here a moment ago there are three openings to insert something. Okay, so we need to get three things of some sort. Can we go up the ladder? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed, and you can't go through. Fair enough. Some gross-looking water. And some less gross-looking water. Blue Orb Fragment, also known as the Fragment of Life. But it's only one-fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotcha. This is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Okay. So, man, we must have made a different turn at some point. Because this is not where I thought we were going to end up at. This game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not, uh, it's not that bad from what I remember. But again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got my uh, my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my, uh, <laughs> my affiliate status a few months ago is what I meant to say. So you're pretty early in the game. And for as far as the whole PS2 gauntlet thing goes, you're pretty early in the game. We're still, uh, this is right around game 50. I haven't checked to see exactly what game it is yet, but uh, right around 50. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, if only I had taken streaming seriously whenever I first got into it when I was like 18, then uh, who knows, man, what would be possible right now. But, oh, that's right. We came up the stairs is where we actually came from. What are all these noises? I'm guessing that's the enemies that are up here. If I could jump up there. I mean, I don't really think we need to fight them, though. But, ah, screw it. Whatever. We get stuff for fighting them, right? Experience and shit. Love how you joined at God of War and you were like two months in. It was like instant fun time. Yeah, man. It was a good stuff. I mean, it helps that God of War is just an insanely good game, too. And then, of course, you had uh, Nate to bullshit with about all the anime and whatnot that we were talking about at the time. So, <laughs> this music is fucking rocking. No kidding, man. Got a great metal soundtrack to it. 
Speaking of metal, I was surprised. I was watching the uh, Gran Turismo 7 trailer, and... Uh... Hello, hello, everyone. We are back. Uh, so I went ahead while we were on break and generated the encounter area for the mission that we're on. The one that we just sent, the as far as name people go, Nate and Hattie too. And uh, look, I'm really sorry, Nate and Hattie, but it's not looking too good for you guys. Uh, so you have these four dudes over here, right? Uh, we have, what do we have? We have some sort of rolling block rifle, okay. We have a hunting rifle, not bad. We have a bolt action rifle and an assault rifle. Pretty pretty decent weapons, all things considered. But we're fighting this. <laughs> Advanced mechanoid robots. A scyther with no weapons, thankfully. A lancer with a charge lance. A pulse charged rail assisted lance weapon. Fires a single shot at a high velocity. Okay. <laughs> Another scyther, no big deal. A pikeman with a needle gun. Another Lancer, another Scyther, another Lancer, and another Lancer. Uh... <laughs> Guys, look, thank you for your sacrifice. I think you're going to die. I'm just being honest with you here. I think y'all are about to die, dude. Oh, no, the game froze. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I'm very sorry, Nate, Hattie. I don't, I don't have the most hope in the world right now for you guys. Really need like some EMP grenades or something. And we just, we don't have that tech. We're living in the Neolithic era right now, back at home. Outside of uh, the weapons that we've been able to accumulate from, from other people raiding us. Like that's our only source of real technology right now. So, <laughs> if these four people die, I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact that there's more mechanoids trying to murder us all the time and hope for the best. God, those scythers run so quick. We're going to try and take some pot shots. Okay, they're out of range now. Let's, uh, let's get up, like, over here, maybe, so we have some cover. And then Hattie, you can go so you have cover as well. Oh god, dude, this is not going to end well. Oh god, we can't hit shit. Oh god. <laughs> Hattie's Hattie's done for. Every Oh god, this is this is so bad. Oh no. Hattie's dead. Oh god. They died so quick. Oh my god, I didn't even see the dude with a flamethrower. <laughs> Yep, uh... Caravan lost. Tom has been captured. Nate's been captured. L's been captured. And Friday was lost there. Well... <laughs> We're back down to three. Okay. Let's hope we don't get attacked by mechanoids at some point. Because if the mechanoids come to us, we're fucked. <laughs> Did the bot break or do you not have enough uh, points, Nate? Do I need to reset the bot? Yes, too. Now the bot's still working. Double check you have enough points to do that, Nate. Jesus, man. Yeah, I don't think you had enough points, but holy hell. Okay, so I guess we need to rethink our priorities here. Um, okay, fuck, uh, <laughs> noodle is going to have to, so we need someone, the main things we need is, is a cook, a hunter, a grower, and a, fuck, research takes a back priority to construction. I guess, though, if we have construction, we can always force it to be done when we need it done or change it as needed, which right now we don't necessarily need a whole nother house because uh, turns out Rue just got a whole new house to themselves right over here, man. <laughs> Not quite the lakeside view that they were promised, but it's a home. <laughs> Fuck, guys. 
Um. Okay. We can also clear some stuff. Oh no. Okay. Clear a lot area. Who who all did we lose? We lost L. So stay home, Tom. We lost Tom. Tom's bad or not bad. Tom's gone. Clear a lot area. We just just switch to full dialogue. That's not what I meant to do. Switch to vanilla. Manage. Okay. Snoodle, Togobo. Goodbye, Nate. Uh, we're not doing work areas for the time being, so we're going to get rid of that, too. L's gone. Stuff Chocobo. Don't have Tom. Don't have Hattie. Still have Rue. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I guess I guess we'll go ahead and finish building this one and let Rue have their their area. Um, wait, your wife died? Yes, your wife died. Uh, most of the colony died. We just have Mr. Noodle, Chocobo, and Rue. Those are the only three left. Everyone else is either dead or captured. Technically, technically I guess your wife isn't dead right now. Um... Why is it selecting all these growing zones? I just want to select the one. Uh, anyways, technically, I guess your wife isn't dead. Your wife just kind of got captured by an advanced mechanoid tribe that we have no way of dealing with. So, not technically dead. I don't know if that's actually any better or not, but <laughs> but they are alive. Mr. Noodle. Oh, no. Awful bathroom. Your friend died. Your uncomfortable darkness. Two colonists died. Two colonists were lost. <laughs> your brother. Oh, wait. Nate was your brother? Oh, my God. I didn't even know. So you lost, you lost your wife, or lover in this case, and your brother at, during the same raid. <laughs> oh, Noodle's having a real bad time right now, dude. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, look, it's fine. Your your god is still here. That's all that matters, right? We're gonna, speaking of, we're gonna let Rue finish up Pemmican. And then after the Pemmican finishes up, we're going to uh, get them to start doing some crafting work, I think. Or maybe construction. Maybe we get the construction done first. And then, yeah. So Rue's gonna be like our, our person that jumps around, I guess. So, construction, I'm blind. That's going to go up to a two. Get that construction work done, Rue. And then, wait, you know what else we forgot to do for Rue? Set this. Copy, paste. And then, uh... Fuck, dude. And then start working on the crafting. Uh, okay. It's fine. Everything is fine. Let's, let's get some recreation time in here, dude. I think I think we're gonna need some forked re forced recreation for a while. Especially for Noodle. Can we do like a party or something? Public execution? No, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help anything right now. Um, we can do a leader speech. It's probably not going to be great, though, honestly. How's Greg doing? We kind of need new people, Greg. Do you want to join the colony yet? We just sent everyone to their death, so, I mean, that should make you real... Resistance to 19.3 should make you real confident, right? 
God damn, dude. Uh, also, I think we need someone on the night shift now, so... I guess Chocobo, they can cook and stuff while everyone else is doing their thing. That seems reasonable enough. Their recreation time's still gonna be the same as everyone else's, but they're not gonna go to bed until like 6-ish in the morning. Oh, God. Such is the way in RimWorld, though, dude. That's how it happens. It sucks, though, because we just got so many people, dude. We literally... Who was it? Rue. Rue just joined from having an amazing party. And then we had Hattie and Nate. Nate died again twice now. <laughs> like, it's rough, dude. All right, Rue should hopefully be doing some construction. Building up their house. Our food situation is still pretty good, at least. What about cooked meals, though? Oh, yeah, we have 47 different cooked meals right now. That's actually... That's a lot, considering we don't have refrigeration. Which reminds me, um, before we do anything else, the most important thing is pemmican. Pemmican sucks. Like, you don't actually want to eat it. But... It lasts forever, basically. So, do until... Let's keep, like... I don't know. Let's keep a bunch of pemmican around before we focus on anything else. Um, like, like a hundred or something, dude. Extract milk from hybrid milk? Uh, yeah. Actually, that sounds like a good idea. We'll put it at the bottom of the list, but... Try to keep, like, 10-ish around or something. At the bottom of the list, so I don't need to set a suspend. I am going to set a suspend thing on this, though. And then unpause at 75. That seems decent. What kind of meat isn't allowed in here? Oh, human and insect? Yeah, that's probably fine. Most people don't want to eat that, after all. Okay. Uh, I guess we can also clear these things. Has it automatically been cleared? Yeah. Well, for the most part. We never make... Oh, we forgot to make the little storage area here. That's fun. I guess people don't really need their own individual storage areas anymore. We're going to keep them, though. No. No, we're not. Look, it looks good for what we were trying to do, but at the end of the day, it obviously wasn't really working, so... It was too much. It was too much to have going on at one time, so we're going to get rid of all of these, I think. We'll keep the storage bins in people's homes for, like, because the stuff from their garden seems to be going there and whatnot, and that makes sense. But a new quest has become available. It's called Requesting Workers. Big Gun Jean Frenchy de Dion of Nodras Cobras needs extra hands to help set up a settlement to lend him one colonist for 19 days. I would love to get some goodwill. But there's no way, dude. <laughs> there's no way in hell that we can give up a colonist right now. Like, yeah, not happening. Um, okay, so getting rid of all of these food stockpiles. Delete, delete, delete. I think that was all of them. I guess the other thing we could do is just leave Rue's construction pretty high in general, and then just don't ask them to to construct stuff when not absolutely necessary. Oh good, we got roaming monstrosities now. <laughs> Things are going well for us, guys. What do we got? Um, What am I even looking for exactly? I don't know. What, am, what was I even doing? I've completely forgotten what I was trying to do. Medical tab? No. Manager tab? Was it something in here? I don't remember. Oh, well, whatever. I'm sure I'll remember it sooner or later. Probably not. What do we got? We got a squirrel -o. A chicken wolf hen. Is that it? Is it just the two of you? 
That's not too bad. I think I think we can handle that at least. You're coming from down here. Let's go ahead and get everyone together. Get in battle formations. Chocobo, you still have the shotgun, right? Yeah, so you need to like come up here. Aru, you also have a shotgun, so. Uh maybe back up from the I was gonna say, because that's gonna blow up actually. There we go. Excellent. Okay. We can deal with the roaming monstrosities at least. <laughs> if we can get more of those, that's fine. I don't mind that. You missed everything you did. We lost everyone, dude. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> I mean, not literally everyone, but basically. Nate died again for the second time. Uh, we lost Hattie. We lost the two unnamed characters, L and Tom. I mean, they had names. They just weren't, you know, important ones. But they're all gone. <laughs> just this once, Rose. Just this once. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Our lion cub's dying. Oh, we don't have an animal handler anymore. Okay. Noodle's taking care of him, though. That's right. Tom was our animal handler, too. Oh, God, man. Oh, and our horse. We lost our damn horse. You said everyone died. Oh, no. I get it. I get the reference. I miss Doctor Who. I need to watch more of it. We could time travel and potentially save everyone, but yeah, no. No time traveling allowed, not even just this once. Rewatching. I'm actually rewatching too. I just finished up the uh the Donald Donna Noble stuff not too long ago. And I'm currently like three or four episodes into um ta -da -da, not River Song. Somebody pond. Amy. <laughs> Amy pond. Holy hell. Noodles going on a food binge because they're stressed the hell out. That's fair. Honestly, your brother and lover both died. Um, as well as, you know, just some of your friends. So that's, you know, that's fair. <laughs> honestly, I, I can't blame you for that one. Good. We got some pemmican. That's good. Um, I mean, pemmican sucks hardcore but to actually eat i mean but it, it's preserved basically forever so we might even end up increasing the amount of pemmican we have it depends on like if we keep having food rot then we might do that lost a wife and child once already yeah and now she lost another wife another child and a uh and a uh, a brother all at one time. Like, it's... <laughs> it's bad, man. Mr. Mister Noodle's having a bad time. I'm sure Chocobo's having a bad time. Yep, lost his wife. Um, lost a few friends. <laughs> He's happy that Hattie died, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Him and Hattie were rivals, apparently, so... Oh, and Rue's rival was Tom, so they're happy they died. <laughs> Y'all are terrible, dude. Oh, God. Mr. Noodle's no longer picking out on food, so now they're taking a nap. That's fair. Rue, what are you working on? You're uh, repairing shit. That's right. We still haven't finished that up yet. That's a nice table. It's bronze table. Oh, dude, vases. I was looking to see if we had any vases or urns or anything like that. Because that'll actually make some of our rooms, like, more impressive. Uh, which people people just like having that sort of thing. Um, it also makes the wealth of our colony higher, which is questionably a good thing. It's a good thing in the sense that, like... You know, that generally means you're just doing better. But it's a bad thing in that the, the game tends to use colony wealth as a measurement for how hard it should try and fuck you. And obviously, we're getting fucked hard enough. <laughs> uh, do we have any metal? Are we out of metal? 
medicine. We have a bunch of silver. We have like no just regular metal though. Uh, I know that's something we have set up in the manager. Yeah, but see, it says we have a shit ton, so it's counting something that it shouldn't be. So, don't count, don't count any buildings. Count ship chunks. But that's it. Don't count the rest of it. That should help fix that, hopefully. We got a mad guinea pig. Oh, mad guinea pigs. Multiple. Is it just one, though? Nope, there's another one there. I mean, they're guinea pigs. I think our colonists can probably handle them. I hope our colonists can handle a couple guinea pigs. Somebody's fighting one of them. Is it Rue? Did Rue get scratched by a guinea pig? They did. <laughs> ah, they're gonna be okay. It's all right. No immediate danger yet, yeah, just a couple scratches. Aw, Carl the pup got hurt at some point too. Got bit by a rat. Must have been trying to get some food or something. Uh, do an urgent haul on that to get rid of it. No immediate danger. You're going for right. Well, you're not in immediate danger, so prioritize getting rid of that dead guinea pig so it's not just holding the door open all the time. We're going to put... Oh, shit. What'd I do? I changed something. I don't know. We're going to put on... Every... Or everyone on a level one haul real quick. Just because I want to get some of the stuff cleaned up in the colony. There's there's a lot of just like junk around. Do we have Do we have wood? Are we out of that too? And I think everyone's gonna go ahead and go on a level one plant cut. Except for Noodle. Noodle can keep growing. Actually, you know what? Our grower will have level two as well. Or I'm sorry, our, our cook will have level two as well. Last stream you piped in, I also went broke again from about twenty. Middle noodle noodle gave me 20 middle noodle noodle gave me a 100k and I've used it to get back up. Uh, <laughs> I think you might have fat thumbed that one just a little bit there, bud. <laughs> I don't I don't think you had a <laughs> 20 middle middle noodle noodle. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. Roost plant cutting. Chocobo is hauling. That's right. We have hauling turned up right now. We just, we just really need to get... There's so much... Look at this. Like, just our stock room alone is so fucked up. Like, we have campfires that need refueled. We have stuff that needs moved around. Like, the colony's frankly a mess right now. We have meat not being dried out. Like, that's just, just going to expire, dude. <laughs> like, get it dried out, man. Get it taken care of. Oh, we got some of our first jerky done. That's awesome. Took was stopping for a meal. Taking out the jerky. What does that fall under? Does it fall under this? Jerky, yes. So we got a bunch of jerky. Can't handle the noodle and triple shift no breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle is a bit much to handle. I, I agree with what Noodle's saying, but I love her dearly. Uh, what are you doing, Chocobo? Are you still, still rearranging stuff, getting rid of it all? Gotcha. Um, we shouldn't allow anything that's rotten in here. We should get rid of all those corpses that have rotted. Oh, you're actually cooking food. Does that mean the hauling's done? If the hauling's actually done, we might just leave it on a level one for now. What's Mr. Noodle doing, though? Are you going to be growing stuff? You're relaxing socially? I mean, that's fair. You're allowed to do that. And Rue is sleeping. 
I imagine Noodle will probably end up doing that themselves here soon. Taking care of the cub, though. Got to make sure the cub's okay. Hauling wild board to dumping stockpile. Probably one of the many rotten corpses in here. Yes, good. Get rid of those rotten corpses, man. We don't we don't really want them in the middle of our stockpile where we keep our overflow food and, and shit. If we can help it. Silence, do you still like squishmallows? Shreem got me a really cool one. I did. I did get them a very cool one. If I do say so myself. Who's doing some harvesting? Excellent. Got to get some of that wood. Um, Job threshold has not been reached, though. Like, there is, we do not have 4,000, do we have silver selected accidentally? No, it's just compacted steel. Honestly, you know what, just delete. New job, I think it's broke. <laughs> we just want steel. I'm blind, excuse me, compacted steel. Ship chunks. Calculate base, go ahead and deconstruct building. Check for roof supports everywhere. Try to keep 500 around is fine. I don't, I don't even care at this point. Fuck, I didn't mean to delete it though. Ship chunks. Steel. Actual distance deconstruct building there. Manage. Leave it alone. That should flag some steel to be dug for us. Although right now we don't really have a dedicated miner. So I don't know how well that's going to go. But. All right. So we have basically everyone on top priority hauling. We have some top priority plant cutting going on for a while. Chocobo. You're still cooking first though. That's good. Oh, uh, God. Did Rue's house ever get finished being built? It, it, almost. Almost. Rue? Prioritize constructing your own bed. So that you don't have to sleep in the, in the jail anymore, dude. Set owner. Close. He's a gargoyle that likes tabletop games. Yes. We thought it was a dragon for the longest time. I'm still not convinced it's not a dragon, but officially from the Squishmallow website, it's a gargoyle apparently. Yep, not selling our pemmican or components or medicine. We'll steal that shitty knife. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to give the charge pistol. We gave them the wrong weapon. Our god should get a for us godly weapon. Okay, keep everything else. Except Rue, where is that charge pistol anyways? Uh, I feel like we should keep silver here too. Anyway, uh, no, I was looking for <laughs> the, the pistol. I kind of, I kind of got lost for a moment in my own head. Uh, Rue, after you're done doing whatever you're doing, equip the charge pistol. Hey, Psycho, what's up, man? All right, Chocobo. Oh yeah, you're moving. You're moving the crap that I want to move. That's fair. Cooking some more meals. Do we allow pemmican out here? Uh, must not be possible to store pemmican out here, actually. PM. Oh. Pem. Yeah, no. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it is meant for, like, food food, so I guess that makes sense, but. Condiments? That's a lot of condiments. Luciferium powder is a condiment? I don't think so. Lucy is, like, 
the most powerful drug in this game. <laughs> Wait, are you cooking with jerky? No, 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 no. Because we can eat jerky raw, right? Maybe not. Meat, raw food, and food. It counts as all three. I guess you can do both with it. Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. For the... N Fuck. I guess that's... I guess that's fine. Go ahead and cook with the jerky. Hopefully, the meat drying rack is just being filled up at a good enough pace. Which, actually, speaking of, do we have any hunting going on? Did I find my pouches that I had in your whatever? Uh, in your bag? I don't think so. I didn't really realize there were any in there, to be honest with you. We've gotten really lucky with the fact that so far, every house we've built has had water close by. I mean, I guess there's water, like, basically everywhere, so that's probably part of the reason why, but... Oh, we can delete that butcher spot. We do want to copy this, though. Noodle is now hiding in their room. I mean, again, they are having a pretty rough time of it. <laughs> so, can't quite blame them, to be honest. Are they feeling any better? You're, you're getting better, right? You're not bothered by the fact that that colonist died anymore, but you're still being bothered by the fact that your brother and your lover both died. Which, again, is, is pretty fair, honestly. I'll give that one to you. A whole box? Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I bought those just a couple days ago. I knew they were in there. Noodle the big sad. Chocobo, why are you still sleeping at night? You're supposed to be sleeping during the day. I did change that, right? I did. I guess maybe your sleep schedule just hasn't adjusted yet or something. And I wanted... <laughs> I really wanted to build, like, crafting centers and all that stuff. You know, start expanding the colony, getting more technology up and going. And then we kind of got fucked. <laughs> I mean, we could have ignored that quest entirely and just left the the mechanoid ship alone. But like, I didn't want to do that. Because as long as the mechanoid ship is up, if we do get attacked by mechanoids, um, it's going to be a bigger raid and we're more likely to get attacked by the mechanoids. So it just seems like a bad idea. Also, there's a bunch of stuff that needs harvested. You're hiding in your room though. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, simple meals are rotting away still. So, I think that means we need to make more pemmican. What are you cooking right now? Fine meals. Let's get more pemmican. I don't want the food rotting. Let's do 200 and then pause at 100. Let's do that. For now. Everyone has a high level plant cut. Maybe. Oh god, I hate this this sub menu. It's so hard to read, man. <laughs> Cook, hunt, grow. Harvest crops. Set that to a level two for everyone. It, it'll suck that we'll lose some some crops because it's not as efficient with it, but at least the plants won't be like rotting from being unharvested, hopefully. We can probably turn down. Ah, uh, the hauling for a bit. 
that is taking a lot of our time. And that was just meant to be temporary anyway, so that's gonna go back to a, I think a three for everyone. Yeah. For now. Why were they in my bag? Because I uh, need to put them somewhere and your bag seemed like a good place. No, you wanted to watch us die. Wait, what? That came out of nowhere, Nate. <laughs> what was that message about? How are you? I've been good. I don't know if you're talking to me or someone else, but I've been pretty good, honestly. No complaints from me, dude. Tired, busy, but those things are both normal. You have a crack in your spine? Uh, that's not good. Wait, are you an enemy? You're an enemy, too. Okay, well, like, in that case, we'll capture you. We'll see if we can fix that crack in your spine. I don't know if we can or not. And, uh, I mean, we could just execute you or try to convert you. How how are you, Greg? Are your, is your prisoner thing going down? Your resistance is 14.5. Do we have wardening turned up? I guess it's going to have to be a level. No, wait. Level 2 is a top priority. God, I really don't want these people that are terrible at it doing it but I don't think noodles getting around to it enough God, it's so <laughs> Ugh. losing those people really made things so hurt man wait no reduce will or no resistance convert reduce will wardens will threaten the prisoner to reduce the world but won't enslave them reduce resistance is what we want so attempt to recruit, if the prisoner says warns will speak to them to reduce her. Oh no, no, okay. We want we want regular recruit then. Cause that'll just reduce their resistance and then try to recruit them. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, Chocobo's cooking as he should be. Rue's cutting down trees. Does that mean there's no plants to harvest? No, there definitely is. Do we not have your... Yeah, we have that high... Oh, no, we have your plant cut on a level one. Okay, let's get you on a level two for plant cut as well. Take that back down. So hopefully Rue now helps harvest some, some stuff around the house. Or around the, the colony, rather. Playing some chess. I do think it's a happy hour <laughs> here on the uh, the the Ru the Ru Light World, whatever the hell we called this colony again, Ruville. Cleaning your room and then going to bed. That's lame. That's not fun to watch. Mr. Noodle, what are you doing? Feeding fine meal to ship it ball. Okay, your your cracked spine is fixing. What is your your religion? Great post orthodoxy. Change per day due to moon. One point eight percent. You don't break as easy as the last guy, but it is. It's. I do think we can break you though. What's your resistance? Sixteen. That's not that bad. I guess we'll go ahead and try and convert you. We'll try we'll try to get him moved over. So we can uh get another person in the colony. We do need it. We got it. We're basically starting over again as far as colonists go. We're basically starting over. Like <laughs> we're down to 3 as if as if we just crash landed on this godforsaken planet. Oh, I think I remember what I wanted to do earlier, finally. I wanted to look at the 
animals that are on the map and see if we should be hunting any. There's actually a couple of them flagged for hunting. We just don't have hunting set as that higher priority. Which we're going to change. Chocobo, if we have stuff flagged for hunting, do that first. Because the meat should pretty quickly be taken into, be turned into jerky. Or if we notice a bunch of it sitting around, we can force them to turn it into jerky. Um, but that's like a long process, right? It takes, it takes time to do so. Now what we might do though, because the jerky is not counted as meat, I don't think. So what we should probably do is go into the manager tab here. Go to the hunting one. Can we set jerky as a thing that counts as meat? No. Okay, so we'll, we'll just keep it at... We have it at 300. Even that might be a bit much, but we're, we're going to leave it at that for now, I guess. Uh, Chocobo, I wouldn't suggest going mono a mono with a fucking muffalo. I would suggest running the hell away and then shooting at it. Also, we'll go ahead and grab the other two people and get them down here. God, Chocobo, run. We can't... <laughs> We can't afford to lose anyone else, Chocobo. Run, damn it. God. As soon as we start the hunting, dude, we damn near get ourselves killed. How's Chocobo actually doing health-wise? Death in 18 hours. Excellent. Okay. Uh, un Recruit everyone. Rue. After you do that, haul the muffalo in. Chocobo, death in 12 hours. You should be fine. Are you going to make it there in time? 11 hours. Yeah, you, you should be fine. We'll have to make sure that we tell Noodle to take care of you instantly, though. Tend to Chocobo. Make sure we don't lose anyone else, dude. Good, 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 good. Okay. Chimero eating some food of their own. I just, I don't know. I just don't know what to do with the colony right now, you know? Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> until... Until we get some people in here, we're kind of stuck just trying to survive, you know? Fuck. An eclipse? That's fine. We don't have any sun-based stuff going on anyways. Uh, where's Hall? I'm blind. All set to a three. So, like, Rue's going to do all this stuff before. Mr. Noodle's always going to be plant cutting and growing. You're always going to be cooking and hunting. Yeah, like, hauling's never going to happen, dude. I think, honestly, I think just, like, every once in a while, we're just going to have to grab a bunch of people and tell them to haul or do stuff like this, right? Grab the important stuff. Like, the, the food that's sitting out. And then just put a haul urgent on it. To get it picked up. Chocobo has a major break risk. Why? Intense pain. Yeah, you're also hungry, apparently. You're chilly. Is it cold outside? 49 degrees. It is getting there. Um, which sucks for hauling. But I guess that also means we're going to have to re-enable these things. Refuel, just the one for now. Refuel the bedrooms of the people that are actually living in their homes. And I thought we had one in here too, but maybe not. Uh, the torches, I'm pretty sure, do put off a little bit of heat, so... One. 
Okay. Guess what we could do though. Again, it. I hate this menu, but if we go down to hall, plant, cut, smith, tailor, art, craft, nuclear, uh, hall. Drain out of storage, fill storage, refill water, load silo. In here somewhere, there should be refuel fuelable buildings, yes. Go ahead and make that a level one priority for everyone. Make sure or no, actually, because that's a pretty annoying job. Level two? Or do we just force people to do it? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. Hmm. Seems like no matter what, it's pretty annoying. Do we just need someone to be a hauler? The only person that could do it's Rue. I hate to force them to do that, but yeah, I think I think Rue's just gonna have to be basically a dedicated hauler. Oh boy. Because if it's starting to get cold outside, we're gonna have to get some heat generating in these buildings. Otherwise, we're we're fucked. So we'll start freezing to death again. We should have some slightly warmer clothing now, but clothes are only going to help so much, you know? If it starts getting down to freezing or whatever, the clothes alone aren't going to keep us alive. The other thing I guess we could do, though, is we could back it up a little bit on some of the growing. Uh, like some of the frivolous things, right? Like, what is this? Wheat? Yeah, that's for, like, baked goods. We don't need that right now. Allspice plants, that's for, like, seasoning. What is go- Okay, the eclipse is ended. I thought the screen was, like, turning colors or something. Pineapples are nice. I kind of want to keep the pineapples. Potatoes. I think we have potatoes growing somewhere else. We'll keep the potatoes, though. Tomatoes. We'll keep the tomatoes and the peppers. What's up here? Strawberries. We're going to turn that off. That's a hard job. More potatoes. We'll turn that off for now. Are these both cotton? They are. We'll turn off one cotton. Uh, garlic is a necessity. Oh, yeah. No, I uh, I don't think I did remember to answer. But, yes, I am, I am getting a shower tonight, Noodle. Uh, instead of tomorrow. Rice. Tomatoes. What are you growing here? Celery. So wait, don't we have tomatoes growing over here? Yeah, that's a big tomato field. We'll get rid of the big one and just have the little one. We already have that one turned off. The, we already have the peas turned off. These are little. We'll keep those. Okay. that's That'll that'll free up some of Noodle's time, at least. I don't know if it'll be a ton, but it'll free up some. Tony the Tiger has lost the guard ability. Well... <laughs> That sucks. Potatoes and molasses. <laughs> All right, so Rue, you should basically be hauling shit, right? When you're not eating food. You're relaxing socially. Well, that's not quite what I was hoping for. You're relaxing socially at a fireplace <laughs> that isn't even lit. You're just kind of you're just kind of chilling in front of it for no apparent reason. Okay, well, what are you doing now? Colony management, that's fine. We do have your colony management set to a level one. Got to make sure trees are getting cut and things. That's important. Now you're harvesting. Okay, we have that set pretty high too. You're botching it, which that's why I didn't really want to turn people's plant cutting up really high, or at least their harvesting up really high, but. It was also just rotting on the plant, you know, which doesn't help anyone at all. You're taking a bath. Just, oh God. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Just, hoosa. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. We're so screwed. Actually, I would say we're in a pretty decent spot. We're just not making forward progress. 
pr uh, progress, which is what's annoying me more than anything. Practicing your shooting skill. That's good. Noodle Chocobo, you're still resting. Are you not good yet? So when are you integrating these points? Uh, those points are going to start over whenever I get around to that. <laughs> yeah. Y'all aren't taking your millions, or specifically you, Nate, aren't taking your millions over to whenever I actually let you guys do real stuff with those. No way in hell, my friend. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that'll get the meat drying rack to go a little bit quicker. Oh good, another frigate landed. We're gonna get fucked. <laughs> um, I also can't help but notice that it seems like with the way the meat racks work, they only actually start curing meat once they fill up. So I think what we should do is just have like one enabled at a time. I'm hoping while it's on the rack, it doesn't spoil. I don't know for sure, but I'm, I'm hoping not. Oh, wait. No. Fire tray is butchering at that one. Delete this spot just entirely. Very Bush has died from rotting. Yeah, we really need to harvest that stuff sooner. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, we have more animals to butcher. It must not have been hauled over here. Okay, that's fine. Butcher that too. And then after that one, Chocobo, prioritize bringing meat to that. Okay, is it filled? It's filled. So then bring meat to that one and that one. I would hope that they automatically prioritize, like, filling one at a time, but I don't know if they actually do or not. I think we have enough to fill all three. Making kibble? What? Why are you making kibble? I told you to haul shit over here. Okay. Oh, you just have a bunch of inventory that you're cleaning out for some reason? I mean, I, I guess that's fine. Feeling stressed. Probably because you're freaking starving because you're not listening to what I told you to do, dude. How much stuff do you have in your inventory, man? Your backpack must have been loaded with junk. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> just running all over the colony doing stuff. He's about to have a mental breakdown because he's too busy emptying his backpack out. It still says making kibble. Okay, you know what? Consume a simple meal right now. And then... Fill up the meat racks, dude. Get a little bit of food in you at least, man. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, boy. Okay, another one full. Um, Rue, you can do this for a bit. Grab some meat. We still have... Yeah, we still have regular meat, so fill fill another one up. I guess we'll have to turn this one off for now. Oh wait, no, we still have we still have a lot of meat. Never mind. Re-enable. What are you doing? Cleaning animal filth and then going to bed. Okay. Noodle? Harvesting potatoes. Important, I admit. But after you're done with that. Load up the jerky maker. Then we should also quickly do a priority haul, too. Uh, there should be a button for that, but... Let's get 
the food priority hauled in. Any food over here? No, we got some some drugs over there, but no food. Okay, I think that is it. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, anyways, guys, it's almost about time for a break. So I think we're going to go ahead and head on over to that screen for just a few minutes so I can stand up, stretch, do all of that good stuff. And then when we come back, we're going to play just a little bit more RimWorld. Not too much more tonight, but we're going to go a little bit farther. Really hoping that we can get one of those prisoners in tonight, maybe. But I don't know. It's getting there, but it's slow going. Anyways, we'll be right back. The Horizon, I don't know if any of you guys are fans, but they made a track for Gran Turismo 7, which uh, isn't something that I expected at all, you know, BMTH in a Gran Turismo game, but I'm here for it, and uh, they are more than welcome to include all the BMTH music they would like in that game, because I love the Gran Turismo series, or at least the, uh, the ones that I've played. And I love BMTH, so hell yeah, dude. Love how there were no enemies at first, and now they are everywhere. Yeah, no kidding, man. All over the damn place. Okay, so it must have been this door that we came through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the one I was thinking of. So the door upstairs opens this gate, but we can't get there yet. We did get a rusty key, though, so we can go back here go through this door if we could get around this shit yeah 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 yeah. i don't know i don't remember how we switch weapons if we have to come in here and do it this weapon is currently equipped there we go and then oh okay so <laughs> it's equipped but how do we shoot it r1 nope r2 that's just taunt l2 nothing directional keys Directional keys don't appear to do anything. Yep. I mean, it says they're equipped. I'm sure we... Oh, there we go. Uh. Okay, it seems like we can only shoot the guns while we're in air. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember at all. But... I have a rusty key now. I know. It's amazing, ain't it? <laughs> you love Obey. You actually only ever heard their Semper Paternal album before that during the early days of high school. Yeah. They're, I mean, their uh, early music was a bit rough IMO, but still very good. Um, at least in my opinion. You know, I really liked it. Their newer stuff is also really good, but they, they kind of went on a bit of a poppy kick for a moment um, and then brought it back to some of the heavier stuff. Their last album was really good. It had a lot of video game inspired stuff in it. Like uh, they did a game or a, a song called Parasite Eve based off of, you know, or inspired by that video game. They did a song with Amy Lee. That one's pretty good. Uh, Baby Metal. They did a song with Baby Metal, which I think is really cool. Um, what else? Oh, they did a Resident Evil inspired song. Like they did a lot of a lot of cool shit on that album, in my opinion. Definitely worth giving a listen. And I'm pretty sure they're working on doing another album. No idea when it's going to come out, but, you know. Man, I, I could have swore... Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> we just got strung up like the marionettes there for a second. That was, that was a thing. We can... I could have swore you can use the, the guns just kind of a little more freeform than what it's letting us do, but... I may be thinking of like something later on once we unlock more abilities or uh, possibly one of the other Devil May Cry, ga Cry games even. I've only ever beat the first one, but I have played bits of some of the other ones. All right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I need to pull up the screen for myself. Okay, let's get back into it, shall we? What is Mr. Noodle up to? I say you just go all in, Nate. Just throw it all in there, man. Let the gods decide your fortune. <laughs> Could end up going really well. Could end up really bad. You never know. 
Doing some gathering. Excellent. Nope. <laughs> it's good. Pace yourself. That's what you should do, honestly. But I think it'd be funny to watch you just lose it all. <laughs> what is that? Is that that should be your wood stockpile? Okay, that's fine. You can keep you can keep your wood stockpile. That's agreeable. Uh, we have a bunch more meat. Didn't I have somebody bringing meat over here? You're harvesting allspice. You're unloading your inventory. Okay, what does he have? Okay, he, he doesn't have that much left at this point. Chocobo doesn't. His inventory, though, there for a minute must have been insane, man. Like... <laughs> All right, just has some random spices left. So you're done now. Okay. Using the bathroom, that's fine. You're you're allowed to do that. You can use the bathroom. Did he Were you just eating pemmican? Oh god, you must not have done any cooking in a while, man. Please tell me after you're done doing this, you're going to go do some cooking then. Yeah, our actual like food is starting to rot away now. And we're actually running low on pemmican. So, you're hunting. I mean, hunting is important. I'm actually going to force you to cook, though, after you're done doing that. Yes. Yeah, we need we need food, Chocobo. Make us make us some food. I, I don't like being this like micromanagey with the game, but in some situations, you just kind of got to, I guess. We're running out of cooked food. We got all this stuff. You know one thing that we should do with the pemmican? Since we're making jerky, um, the pemmican shouldn't allow any meats at all in it. Just vegetarian. We make vegetarian pemmican and that's it. Because <laughs> I don't think it requires... Oh, it does require one nutrition of meat. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, is jerky listed in here? Because at the very least, we won't allow the jerky. I guess insect meat and human meat, we won't allow those either, because, yeah, people don't, don't like that too much. I, I did honestly think we could make pemmican with just vegetable matter. Okay. Well, is what it is, I guess. We're already out of jerky, too. We must have used it all for cooking. Is there, like... Oh, good. You're refueling the stove yourself. Is there in the research tab... So, we learned how to make, like, dried meat. Is there, like, vegetable? Vegetable milk? Aquaponics? Dried fruit? Mixology. What about just dry? Moisture pump grilling. Well, just dry heat. Oh, no. That's just a form of cooking. Um, dehydrating? De How do you spell dehydrate? H-Y? No. Shoot. It would have been really nice if we had some way to store the vegetable. Pickling. Is there pickling? No. What? <laughs> Why is there no way to store fruits and vegetables for the winter, man? That should be a thing in the game. Wait, do you require meat? Are you making... Oh, no, you're making simple meals now. Okay. That's fine. Get back to, get back to cooking for a bit, man. Get some real food for people to eat so they don't have to keep eating pemmican forever. People don't really like eating pemmican, honestly. And I guess that's another thing. We're not allowing pemmican on this one, but we are on this one. And this one is our... We don't... Oh, deep fried sushi, vegetables. Do we just want people to shop from our baskets? Because this is like our meat and stuff. Yeah, you know what? Allow pemmican in there again. Don't 
allow anything rotten in either one. Um... But let's change our shopping zone so that people aren't buying our, our raw meats either. Just our just our raw vegetables, because we, we generally have a lot of extra vegetables and, and fruits. Heavy fur moose headdress. Ah, nice. Psychic suit, that also that just helps with the uh with everyone's, you know, feelings. They don't they don't feel as shitty. God, that autosave scared me with how much it lagged out there for a moment. How you doing, guy? Oh, your resistance is at zero, actually. So we are doing recruitment attempts. Oh, that just happened. Perfect. So Greg should become a member soon. Fingers crossed. Maybe, if we're lucky. What's Ruben up to? Harvesting oak tree. How's our wood looking? Oh, we're actually... We're getting really close to... To full storage on that. So that's, that's good. Excellent. Okay. And metals, though... We do have mining flagged. Again, I guess Rouge is going to have to be our general purpose person. Uh, they hate mining, but... <laughs> Sorry, bud. I think you're going to have to start mining, too. Research is never going to get done. Oh, God. Is, is Greg good at anything? Because he's the next person we should be getting in here. He's good with plants, so he could help Noodle out with that. Good with construction, which is nice. Decent at mining. Like, he doesn't like mining, but he has some skill in it. He's a good warden. Do we make the ex-prisoner the new <laughs> the new warden? That might end up happening. We had an animal pod crash. Oh, it's a little, a little monkey. Bleeding out in 13 hours. I think 13 hours, we should be able to save you. Um, Noodle, rescue Banger if you can, and then you can go and eat your meal. You're not like starving to death or anything. If we can save the little monkey, let's save the little monkey, dude. We're friends to the animals around here. How is our livestock going? We need to set someone higher on the animal handling. Who's the best one that we got? Uh, I'm blind. Excuse me. Game. Bed rest. Finish. Warden. Handle. Mr. Noodle is the best one. I guess if you're not growing or planting, but you're doing that basically all the time. Hopefully the animal handling won't take too much time from that. Because, like, you're the best at animal handling that we have. Because we, we do need someone to keep up the training with the animals. As well as, you're not going to like this part, but <laughs> as well as getting rid of the excess. <laughs> That's also the animal handler's job. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but that does also mean you get to take care of them feed them, give them little treats, teach them tricks, like all of that stuff too. So like it's not all bad. You do get a you do get to do some fun stuff with the animals. The rescued animal joined. Excellent. So we now have a little monkey friend and Greg did finally join. Thank fuck, we've been needing a new person. Uh let's see. <laughs> Just don't think about it that way, Noodle. It's fine. Uh you don't like doctoring so that'll be a low level for you. Okay. You do like wardening. So we're going to turn your wardening up and turn noodles down to a four, I think. That'll be a high priority for you. Entertaining will also be a relatively high priority for you and turn noodles down. Uh, You're a good constructor. So you're going to take over constructing and Ruse is going to go down. You like growing. You can help Noodle with that. Uh, 
everything else can go down. You like management, too, so if you can help with that, that's fine. Whatever. You hate fishing, though. Hmm. Hunter doesn't have a weapon. We'll take care of that real soon. Okay, so now Rue is going to be mostly growing with Noodle. So we can turn that down. Oh, wait, no, we had the custom priority on that. Well, with two growers, we might actually be okay. So we're going to... We're going to put you guys both back down to a, a lower level on that, I think. For now, at least. Uh, Rue, you're still going to have to mine, though. I wish it wasn't that way, but it's still going to have to happen. At least for now. Until we get some more metal in the colony, because we just have, like, no metal. Can Rue and I get married? I'll try not to kill them. I can't force it. You guys could get married. There's no rule stopping that. But I can't force it to happen. We do allow simple meals in here, right? Simple meal? Yeah, okay. It just hasn't been loaded up. Okay, let's check out Greg for a bit. See what he's getting up to. Some plant cutting. Yeah, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Hey, an Aurora! That's cute. That's actually nice. Everybody will feel a little good about that. Uh, you can have the pump shotgun. And... What are, you, what are you wearing on your head, Greg? Chocobo, what's our food situation like? Not great. What's Rue doing? Playing billiards? No, you're gonna... Butcher. I know you're not good at it, but like... But do it anyways. Maybe I'm meant to be with my soulmate and that's why the other two didn't work out. Is that what you call that? Didn't work out, huh? That's <laughs> that's an interesting way of putting it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just, just didn't work out, that's all. <laughs> uh... Get some butchering done. Get some more meat in the colony so we can make some more jerky. And then, Rue, how are you feeling? You need food and rest. Okay, I'm not going to make you do anything else. Chocobo, you need food. After that, refuel. And put more stuff in the drying rack. you can you can after you finish what you're doing i think you can stop <laughs> you need some rest dude and some food oh my god going all the way over here for a freaking raccoon let's get a priority haul on this stuff too priority haul not on those cancel Cancel those. Don't care about priority hauling that. You're still butchering? How many more animals do we have just hanging out, dude? Not doing anything with them. Seeking safe temperature. Oh, is it that cold out? Yeah, it's freezing out now, huh? Fair, fair. This game looks fun. I love this game. I also really like games where you just kind of watch people do things, though. Okay, so, Greg, you're going to be the guy that I have going around and refueling everything. What's your haul on, Greg? Nine? No. Make that a level two. Get some, get some hauling done for us if you can, Greg. Um, but anyways, no, we really need... Okay, yeah, so... Refuel campfire. Refuel campfire. Where's Greg living? What house did he get? Mad boomalopes. Boomalopes suck. <laughs> That's Greg's house, okay. Refuel that campfire, and then... Rue. Refuel that campfire. Okay, everyone that's not Greg... Probably gonna have to take care of these boomalopes. 
How many? Three of them? That's not great. Draft. Boomalopes blow up whenever they die, by the way. That's why I really don't like <laughs> the fact that we have mad boomalopes in the colony. Because they go boom. Hence their name. Where are you going? How am I supposed to shoot you when you're running away? God, we're shooting our own buildings more than anything. Oh, God. Yep, there's fire. Yep, there's a lot of fire. Get the last one. There we go. Okay, everyone, quickly. Uh, except for Greg. Greg, continue what you're doing. Reset your work priorities. And get those fires out quickly. <laughs> Before we lose our entire colony, man. Is the building heating up in here? It is, but slowly... Oh, God, the fire's spreading inside. Oh, God. Yep, it's already over 100 degrees. Uh, hopefully one of the walls burn down soon. So that he doesn't just die of, of, of overheat. Uh, okay, it should be venting out now. It is venting out now. It's still hot, but it's much more bearably hot. Thank God for a rainy thunderstorm, because otherwise we would be screwed. Chocobos losing their house and all their stuff. Oh my god, I hate boomalopes, dude. <laughs> boomalopes are the worst. <laughs> Fuck me. As soon as we start to make progress, everything goes to hell. No, noodle! Uh, okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. This door, hold open. Noodle, draft, come out here. There you go, okay. Undraft. Oh my god, it's so hot in that room. Apparently it's over a thousand degrees in there. I'm surprised they're not all already dead, to be honest. Don't hold that open anymore. That's still on fire, is it not? Or is that what you guys are taking care of? Oh, Mr. Noodle is. Yeah, the <laughs> the one that already has like heat stroke. <laughs> God damn it, Chocobo! I'm sorry about your house, dude. gonna have to get some rest hopefully no one's injuries are too bad hypothermia shivering and burns yeah for some <laughs> what <laughs> how do you have frostbite hypothermia and <laughs> oh god i hate this game through clever strategies large number of casualties incredible just pack managed to destroy forget hey one of the frigates was destroyed for us wait who got a disease None of our people. Was it you? You have an infection. You're probably going to die. Uh, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Greg, you're sleeping? That's great and all. Get this campfire going, man. We can't have this... this... We can't have this place be this cold, dude. These, <laughs> these people need some warmth. Automatically refuel. Automatically refuel. Man, I was so happy for Greg to be helping out with stuff, but it looks like Greg's actually just gonna end up being a hauler. Yeah. Fuck. That sucks. But it needs done. Well, good straighter. Uh, that could actually be very useful. Noodle, you're okay. Trade with, trade with the people. <laughs> Noodle cannot talk properly because of poor health. Yeah, about that. Uh, we're not selling any of our food. Though we do have a lot of peanuts. We're not really doing anything with it, I don't think. And a lot of peas. Oh no. We don't really need more money though, honestly, if anything. We're kind of hoping to buy some stuff. So we can get rid of some of our, our wealth. Because we, we have too much money. Is there anything we have like very little of? Like 
platypus leather? Yeah, we're probably not getting any more of that anytime soon. Rubber, go ahead and get rid of some of that stuff. We'll... We have a lot of herbal meds. Never mind. Do we just buy wood? Fuck it. Whatever. We're gonna buy wood, dude. Uh, that kind of sucks. We'll sell that. That one's actually pretty nice. Quiver? No. Throwable torch belt? Interesting. Some gold. I was... Honestly, like, we can't make it, but I'm kind of hoping someone shows up with rob robots or something like that <laughs> that we can buy, because Rue's throwing a party. I don't know if right now is honestly the best time for a party, but sure, Rue, why not? Let's just have a party inside your own house. <laughs> uh, why not, dude? I like it. Chocobo and Noodle are both dealing with burns on their body right now. And instead of getting rest, they're just like, yeah, dude, let's get a party going, man. Let's, let's just hang out for a bit, dude. And then Greg went to bed. Uh, actually, Greg, we should probably change your schedule. We're going to have you on the same schedule as... Oh, I messed up. I put Mr. Noodle on the nighttime schedule. I meant to put Chocobo. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Well, actually, it kind of does, because I want Noodle and uh, Greg to have separate schedules, because they both do some of the same jobs, like entertaining and wardening and stuff like that. So there we go. Time is at 2.42. we got to get off here soon. All right, uh, Rue, what are you up to? Mining? Excellent. I like it. We've been needing the meat for a while, or the meat, the the metal for a while now, so that's that's good. And Chocobo, hopefully you're making food or playing billiards. It's not quite what I thought you'd be doing. Now you're cooking, and now you're not. Who has a medical emergency? Oh, the prisoner. Yeah. So the prisoner's probably gonna die, sadly. Oh, wrong button. There we go. You have an extreme of infection uh, at 82%. Your immunity is only 57%. Yeah, no, you're you're dead. Sadly, we're not getting that prisoner. That prisoner is a no-go. Hunting in the middle of the night? I mean, it's fine. Uh, after you do that hunting, though, Chocobo... We can get you to butcher more stuff, because we probably have random animals laying around that need butchered. Like this random rabbit all the way across the map. Yep, he, he did. That's, I mean, we, we knew that was going to happen. That's okay. Greg's taking a nap now. Noodle, are you just... You're just resting. That's fine. Rue, what are you up to? Digging some more compacted steel. That is fine. Awfully disappointed in your stay. I mean, it's kind of cold. Some shit happened. I get it. Finally back. Just had to finish Season 5 of Cobra Kai. I've never actually watched Cobra Kai before. It's one of those many things that have been on my list for a long time, but I've never, uh, never gotten around to. Okay, Chocobo, after you're done butchering that, load up that with meat and then maybe go get yourself some food or something, man. No, wait, stop. Stop butchering. Eat some food. You are, you're like dying of hunger right now, dude. <laughs> like, cleaning building rubble? Oh, yeah, you're cleaning up your house. That's fair, honestly. Greg's refueling more campfires. Is there, like, a way... I wish we could say, like, don't refill the campfire unless it's close to going out. Because that's the one problem with using them for, like, heating and shit. Is that they get refilled constantly. It's phenomenal. Like I said, I've heard good things about it. I've just never actually watched it before. It's warming up outside. That's good. Um, 
Greg, when you're done doing that, can you at least get the door built for Chocobo? So he's not technically sleeping outside. And so that, you know, his, <laughs> his campfire can actually do something for him. There we go. Indoors, temperature rising. Good, good, good. Well, we got one colonist back. We lost four, but we got one back. That's good. Something, at least. <laughs> Fueling campfire again. Getting rid of the dead body. That's, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Go ahead and bury him. We don't really want him hanging around. about making food yes oh dude we got all kinds of meat we should probably we'll let him do some cooking chocobo do some cooking for a bit and then uh and then i think we're gonna oh shit it's already rotting away that meat did not last long okay i've changed my mind chocobo we're not gonna let you do any more cooking we're gonna have you make more jerky Choose ingredient, meat. Jerky. Jerkify everything. Insert meat. Which means we probably need to set our meat target lower for the hunting and stuff, because if it's gonna rot away that quickly, then yeah, there's no real point in, in keeping that much around. We're gonna do one more jerky rack. Chocobo just really wants to eat his meal. <laughs> Every time we stop forcing him to do something, he goes and grabs some more food out of his backpack, and then we're just like, no, bad Chocobo. <laughs> Last time, I promise. There you go, bud. Okay, uh, and then let's go into our Mander hunting. Instead of 300, keep like 150 or something like that around. Harvesting oak tree. Okay, when you're done, or Rue, what are you doing? Digging at compacted steel. Okay, actually, I'll have you do it. All jobs are done. Uh, I guess that's technically true, but... Wait, why are you unloading inventory? Okay, it's fine. He's back to cooking. What shot would you say is the most important in history? Uh, like I mentioned before, I am terrible with the world history. I don't even know where to begin. Famous shots that I can think of off the top of my head are just JFK, MLK. Um, I guarantee you there's more, but I, <laughs> I'm terrible at history. I really, really am. I mean, both of those obviously had some huge impacts on the world, but I would say that's more the world as in America unless the world as a whole but I'm sure there were some shots in the world that changed it um didn't didn't uh Hitler off himself with a gun or something like that isn't that what people say I'd say that was a pretty important shot in the history of the world visiting grave I wonder which one if it was like her her first husband or his first wife uh I guess we don't have the body of the the second wife or brother. <laughs> those ones, those ones are kind of gone. Building a bunch of campfires. Uh, your own campfires turned off. Oh, we don't have automatic refueling on. I guess that's probably why. For me, it goes the shot heard around the world which started the American War for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Archduke of Franz Ferdinand. I think that kickstarted the First World War. Yep. <laughs> I would I would not disagree with either one of those, man. Those <laughs> both sound like very important shards in the world. My brother likes a lot of history stuff, too. I, I find it fascinating, but I've never taken the time to, like, study any form of history or anything like that, really. Shards? What? 
Did I say shorts? If I said shorts, I didn't mean to give... Wait, what? L has given birth? Excuse me? Uh... <laughs> Noodle, congratulate... Or no, Chocobo, congratulations. Um... You have a baby somewhere. <laughs> the problem is... We don't know where at. That's a turn of events. Uh... Well, then. <laughs> hmm. I really don't know what to do about that. I don't think there really is anything we can do about that right now. That's like... Hmm... Because, like, they were lost at that the, the ship area whenever it landed. And then, like... It, uh... They, they got lost there, and then the other group came in and got rid of the ship. But we don't know what happened to them. Though. Shit, man. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on our quest. Maybe a quest will come up at some point. And uh, give us the, the ability to go and save our, our, our old friends there or something. I don't know. There we go. So we got a bunch of meat. We still have meals rotting away. Refrigeration would be wonderful, but we just don't have the tech. Anyways, guys, I do think that's pretty much going to have to be it for today, though. Uh, yeah, it's like 2.52. Honestly, it was longer than I planned on going tonight. I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. I certainly had fun. It's a little bit sad that we lost, you know, uh, two, two named colonists and then two more just random colonists. But we're getting back up there. We already got Greg. Um, nothing too bad has happened in a while, which is you know, good and bad. On the one hand, it's nice. It gives us a chance to regrow. On the other hand, that means something bad is probably getting ready to happen soon. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyways, guys, I'll see you today's Friday, right? Yeah. Saturday. Do we play anything on Saturdays? I think we take Saturdays off now. So I'll see you guys on Sunday with some podcast, hopefully, assuming, assuming Jonathan's uh, free and still available on that day we'll be talking about he's talking about castlevania and i'll be talking about uh destroy all humans a wonderful game started on the ps2 but i played the remake mostly anyways guys we'll see you then and bye bye be kind to each other have a good night however i end this thing i don't know Ian, honestly <laughs> goodbye guys and they are coming from everywhere we're gonna end up freaking dying here. Do we have like a dodge or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay.